Hey guys, here's your nursing skill in less than 60 seconds. It's Tammy with Nurse Minder and today we're doing Perla. It will be a little bit more than 60 seconds, but with good reason. So let's get started with the skill first of all. We're going to combine our equal and reactive to light and accommodation skills. So if you haven't watched the consensual light reflex video or the accommodation video, they're very, very short. Go watch them if you need extra support. We're going to wrap it all up here today for you though. So let's first start by looking at our pupils. I'm going to bring myself closer to the camera and we want to note the size that they are both of them right now they should be equal they should be round and they should be between three to five millimeters we measure them in millimeters so let's say these are about four millimeters that's our starting point now we're going to take our light and we're going to do our consensual pupil assessment so we're going to start with the light and this is my right eye we're going to look at the pupil in this eye first and we're going to see if it reacts to the light which means it should constrict and get smaller and it does. Release that light. And now let's look at the left eye while we shine the light in the right eye. And that's to see if it's consensual, meaning that it is also reacting at the same time. And you should notice that it goes down as well to the same size. So maybe about a two millimeters. So that's the right eye tested. Now we need to test the left eye. So we're going to do the same thing. Look at our left eye first. Note that it changes sizes. Come over and look at the right eye while shining in the left eye and that is our consensual reflex. Now that's the pupils are equal and reactive to light part. That's only the pearl. We need to do the ah, the accommodation. This is where we're gonna take a pen light, a finger, and about arm's length away from the patient. You ask them to look and focus on that. What that will do is it will dilate the pupils because they're using their far vision. So as they're looking at it, assess, take a look at their eyes from where you're standing and bring the pen light closer to their nose. Now, so you can see what's happening, I'll bring my face closer to the camera, okay? At the same time. And what you should see is that the pupils are converging, meaning looking at the object and constricting. Now, the reason I said this is gonna be a bit longer is because the very first time I saw an abnormality, not the first time actually, um, there was a significant abnormality in one of my patients. I had assessed the patient's left eye I went to the right eye and it was like, poof, the pupil was massive. And of course I get really concerned right away. I go and I report this to the doctor and the doctor said to me, do they take any eye drops? So I share this with you because knowing what your patients are taking for medications will help prevent you from looking like you don't know what's going on. That being said, I would have reported to the doctor first anyways, because to me, I thought it was a life, life situation, life or death situation. I thought she had a blown pupil, I was very concerned. Turned out it was just a medication. I believe it was a beta blocker medication. And one of the things is it dilates the pupils. So part of assessing your patient is not just knowing what the normals are. It's knowing what the abnormals are and the potential things in your patient's history that may be contributing to the abnormal scenario. Now, the doctor was very kind and gave me a little bit of education, which was awesome. I went back, did some more reading, and I felt totally safe and confident to take care of that patient and assess their care. So I just share that with you because even seasoned nurses forget to check all of the things that may be um, underlying and contributing to the abnormal findings that we see. That being said, you still wanna report those findings to make sure the doctor is aware and that the doctor is okay with those. 